If you're having trouble with Overstrike and installing mods for Spider-Man 2, you've come to the right place. I've researched all the main issues players are experiencing and what solutions have worked for them. If you've never used Overstrike, check my How to Mod video, which shows you how to install and use it. This video is for troubleshooting specifically. Firstly, let's check your housekeeping. Get your mod folders organized. It will save a ton of headaches when problem solving. You'll thank me later. I have a Spider-Man 2 folder on my desktop, which has shortcuts to the game, Overstrike, my mods, and the local game installation files. In my mods folder, I have subfolders for Overstrike, reshades, scripts, and types of mods. This makes it easy to find anything quickly. Find something that works for you. Just ensure there's a semblance of structure to it. If you're getting crashes, the first point of action is to make sure you have enabled the checkboxes for scripts in the settings and that you are using Run Modded Game to launch. Next, check you have the latest version of Overstrike. Go to Nexus and be sure. If you're using scripts, do the same thing for those too. Outdated versions will likely cause crashes. To update Overstrike, simply download the latest version and extract it where the previous version is installed. If it asks to overwrite files, click Yes. You will keep all your profile settings and mods as long as the mod library and profiles folders are intact. If you install it to a new place for some reason, then you can copy these folders across. Keep your Overstrike installation folder separate from the local game files to prevent any errors, as it will cause conflicts with the winmm.dll file. If in doubt, try reinstalling Overstrike as many have claimed this has solved their issues. If you are getting a crash or black screen before making it to the main menu, then you likely need to do a talk reset. In the newer versions of Overstrike, you can right-click on Install Mods and select Reset Talk. You will still need to verify game files in Steam, then reinstall mods afterwards. You will have to repeat this process whenever a patch is released. If you want to really be sure, you can manually delete all the talk and winmm.dll files from your library before verifying. They will regenerate afterwards. An alternate way of doing this, which also sometimes works, is to delete your talk.back and talk.m files. Duplicate the original talk twice and rename them accordingly. We can also try to delete these other files in the game's directory. There will be a folder named D. Inside it is a mods folder. Delete this and reinstall your mods, then try launching. A step further which has worked for some people is to delete the entire D folder. Warning. This is a vast majority of the game's assets and will require you to verify and re-download over 100 gigs. But it's still worth a shot short of reinstalling the entire game. If you're still having issues, here are more steps you can try. Run Overstrike as administrator. Check that your drivers are up to date. Did you install the .NET 7.0 desktop runtime? Disabling Windows Fast Startup ensures a fresh system boot, clearing memory and reloading drivers properly. This can help prevent mod-related crashes caused by lingering system states. Once off, reboot your PC and try again. Check that it's not blocked in Windows Defender or your antivirus software. Your computer may think it is, but it's been verified on Nexus as safe and the creator has left it open source on GitHub for those wanting to pursue the code. If you're using scripts and getting an error, try disabling them. If it runs without them, try going to the local game files and deleting the scripts files that have been created and reinstall them. Check that you've placed them at the top with mod settings first in Overstrike. Ensure you're only accessing the mod menu once you're in-game. Doing it from the main menu may cause crashes. If you have too many suit slots installed, the game will crash. As of now, it's 18 suits maximum until a new version of Overstrike can bypass this limit. If you get an error while installing mods in Overstrike, check the log and scroll to the bottom to see what caused it. In this example, it was a specific mod that caused it. I had to get a newer version to fix it. In this example, it says missing talk.bak file. I fixed this by duplicating the original talk file and renaming it.
Your errors may be different, and if you're not sure how to fix it, then you can use the information to ask for specific help instead of just saying, not work, and expecting a miracle answer. If you have a non-Steam version of the game, you can try these steps. Go to the local game files and delete the spiderman.rne file if you have one. If the scripts aren't working when running through Overstrike, you can try adding parameters to the game manually. Firstly, create a shortcut for it, then right-click and go to Properties. Find where it says Target and add scripts and modded like this with a hyphen before each word. As a last resort, you can reinstall the entire game. Sometimes files get corrupted or lost and verifying game files won't fix it. This is the nature of modding games. There will likely be more issues than what I've shown here and even more as updates are released. Be sure to try everything before asking for help and if you find a fix not mentioned here, please share it in the comments to help others. This is a community effort. All credit goes to T. Ketchoff for giving Overstrike to us for free. He's a true, real hero. Happy modding and thanks for watching.